Marilyn Monroe, and it's the one that is uh, was created after Marilyn Monroe's death. She was a huge fan of Marilyn. She related to her. They were both, to borrow a title from one of her paintings, the only blonde in the world. This image of Marilyn was taken from the cover of the magazine called Town, and it also resembles closely the photograph of Pauline Bodie that was taken when she was in college. That same sort of grit teeth sense of excitement and anxiety. That's how she chose to present her in depth. Roses, as you'll see in the next room, were a metaphor for female sexuality in her paintings. In this case, they're not, they're presented in a different way. They're bestowed lovingly on somebody that she was a great fan of. These two images on the sides are taken from her earlier paintings, and they were drawn from her love of uh, American musicals from the 1930s. In this case, those panels, which are expressions of joy, are closing over her. It's a painting where she has presented the woman that she so loved and so identified with and is saying goodbye to her in a very sensitive and effective way. In here, we have the first, what might be described as the first volume, the true volume of the Rose was Pauline Bowie's metaphor for female sexuality. 